Time stands still for no one, and eventually, our carefree youths become days built around adult decisions. Against our best efforts, our seemingly adult habits can often put us into financially troubling situations, and we find ourselves financially underwater. The difference between individuals who go into debt and those who don't is often nothing more than a matter of routine. By being on the lookout for these patterns, you may put an end to some of the harmful habits you may have developed and reconsider your perspective and strategy around debt. Here are seven money behaviors that are keeping you broke. Impulse buying. Have you ever caught yourself buying something purely because it was on sale? You didn't even need the item, but the pleasure of getting it on a discount had you pulling your wallet out immediately. Spending recklessly can show up in any number of ways, including using shopping to help you feel better if you're feeling down or rationalizing using your credit card because you get cash back or rewards points. It's risky to go shopping on an impulse if you don't have a strategy to pay for the items you buy. That suggests you're making unsustainable purchases, generally using credit. Once you've lost control of your spending habits and budget, it becomes easier and easier to give in to spending temptations. Neglecting your budget and long-term financial objectives will only set you back in the long run. While it's true that the occasional impulsive purchase is unlikely to have a significant impact on your budget, making it a habit might drastically derail your goals. Find a way to deal with the urge to make impulsive purchases by incorporating no spend days or avoiding your favorite retail sites. Spending on credit cards for the rewards. Credit cards with perks aren't always a bad idea. Some have a legitimate place in your wallet provided you utilize them properly. However, credit card issuers aren't just being kind by offering perks like this for no reason. They understand the psychology of it. Consumers are enticed to spend more money in exchange for rewards. A credit card's perks might tempt you to spend more than you would otherwise. This is the time-tested, the more you purchase, the more you save marketing strategy. You might even get a little rebate on that purchase, but many cards have stringent limitations. Annual reward maximums may be set by certain cards, and the highest cashback rates may only apply to a subset of transactions, such as gas and groceries. You won't get as much value out of credit card rewards as you think you would if you don't utilize them wisely. It's not smart to incur more debt only to get credit card points. Keeping up with the Joneses. A common saying among real estate professionals is that it's preferable to have the worst home on the best street rather than the best property on the worst street. When everyone else on the block seems to be doing well, the pressure to keep up might make it difficult to focus on paying off debt. Overspending is common when purchases are motivated entirely by the desire to impress others with one's material success or social standing. In addition to being inundated with advertisements and following hundreds of people's social media sites, we now also see our neighbors' latest purchases, such as motorcycles, vacations, and home renovations. The external evaluation of achievement, however, is notoriously tricky. Bear in mind that you have no idea of your neighbor's financial status when you see them drive up with a brand new vehicle. They may have gotten a huge loan that will take them years to repay or they had saved up for years and had paid it for all in cash. When feelings of jealousy or the need to prove your value arises, it might be good to think back on your priorities and the reasons you're working toward them. Spending time and effort on someone you hardly know is not as vital as paying off debt or investing for retirement. Maximizing your 401k contributions may not be a public display of wealth, but the peace of mind that comes from knowing you have enough money to retire comfortably is priceless. Shopping to boost your mood. Raise your hand if you've ever splurged on anything based on how you felt. If so, you're in good company. Shopping is sometimes referred to as retail therapy, since it may provide a warm, welcome respite from everyday pressures. Spending money on anything that brings pleasure has the potential to become an addiction. As a result, the more often you shop after a bad day, the more likely you are to shop as a coping mechanism the next time. When you purchase things to improve your mood temporarily, you reinforce the idea that being happy is contingent upon possessing items. It's a bond that may be difficult to sever. To prevent engaging in impulsive purchases, take a moment to assess your feelings before making a purchase. 
consider your motivations for making a purchase before you pull out your credit card. Is it because you really need it or are you just feeling down and bored? Seek assistance from a professional if your emotional spending is out of hand. You may identify your triggers and develop coping strategies to help you get out of debt and remain out of debt. With the guidance of a committed mental health professional, you can overcome a shopping addiction, which can be a difficult task to manage on your own. Putting off your emotional purchases until later is another common tactic. Delaying any non-essential purchases by at least 48 hours, for instance, might help reduce the desire to buy after the novelty of the purchase has worn off. Buying on inconvenience. It's easy to fall into the trap of spending too much on luxuries just because they're convenient. When you consider how much cheaper it is to cook your own meals at home instead of ordering takeout every night, you can see how difficult it is to get out of debt when you spend money on things like DoorDash and Uber Eats. There are times when your busy schedule demands a certain degree of convenience. However, if you want to make progress toward reducing your debt, it's essential that you review your spending habits in detail and identify any places where you may make reductions. Eliminating your biggest costs is essential to setting yourself up for success financially. Think about regular expenses like groceries, dining out, clothes, cleaning services, and vehicle maintenance. You cannot do everything by yourself, but you may be amazed at how much you can do. Ignoring your financial obligations. Remember how kids will put their fingers in their ears and say, I can't hear you, when they didn't want to listen to criticism? If you're aware of your financial predicament but choose to do nothing, you're essentially doing the same thing. Particularly as it pertains to debt, it can be scary and depressing to confront the numbers if you've been avoiding debt collectors and creditors, torn up mail without looking at it, or even find yourself getting defensive or angry when debt is brought up, you're not alone. However, denying your debt won't make it go away, and the harm done by denial is compounded. It's like ignoring the warning signs of a disease. Treating an illness early on may help, but waiting will make the problem way worse. An out-of-mind attitude toward debt may lead to astronomical late fees and interest costs, dealing with collection agencies, and deeper debt. It's damaging because it encourages more negative conduct. Once you've determined how much money you owe, you can begin working on a budget that incorporates strategies for paying down your debts. You can reach out to different creditors and negotiate. For many collectors, getting a portion of the debt is still better than not getting any. You can get out of debt. Take it one step at a time. Never saving money. Although it may seem paradoxical, it's important to develop the practice of saving money even if you're currently carrying a balance on your credit card. If your debt load is quite heavy, this may seem unattainable at first, but it's important for everyone to save at least a small amount of money every month. Paying all of your bills and living expenses out of your monthly paycheck may leave little room for a rainy day fund. Worse still, what do you do if your automobile breaks down and requires expensive repairs? You charge it to your credit card, thereby continuing the never-ending spiral of debt. The sooner you start putting money aside from each paycheck into an emergency fund, the better prepared you will be for both little and larger unexpected costs. The temptation to stop saving altogether throughout the process of paying off debt is understandable, but don't give in to it. An emergency fund is essential for covering unforeseen costs. Our routine behaviors are the result of many years of practice. Negative monetary practices such as avoiding debt, making impulse purchases, and overspending to impress others may completely derail your plans to become debt-free. If you feel like your financial life needs an overhaul, consider which of these harmful practices you may be engaging in. Don't give in to the trap of thinking you'll always be in debt. Instead, take action to end the pattern once and for all. You can take responsibility of your financial situation. Do you struggle with any of these behaviors or have you broken them? Tell us below. If you learned something new today, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and click on that notification bell so you never miss out on new videos.